Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about Bezos, Amazon's pledge for $10 billion, and the journeys, the journey that comes along with it. So Bezos is putting out $10 billion for a fund to help combat climate change. Cool. Cool. People are already saying that it's a PR move, and it probably is on some level. Doesn't mean that he's not putting up 10 bill for it, though. There are a lot of people who are opposed to the idea of addressing climate change for various reasons. But I want to point to the space program. Okay, When we think of the space program, when we think of the space race, what do we think of? Sputnik, right? The, the Soviet sp satellite. We think of Neil Armstrong, John Glenn, Michael Collins, you know, famous astronauts. And it culminates in the moonshot, putting a spacecraft on the moon. That's what we think of in the space race. But what about all the byproducts? The stuff that we don't realize is actually part of the space race, like your cordless vacuum. That was invented because of the space race. NASA needed batteries. And, well, that's where it came from. The CMOS sensor that's in the camera this is filmed on it has its origins in the space race. All those cool prosthetics that exist today, their roots are in the robotics of the space race. Those silly memory foam mattresses, space race. The firefighting equipment that has saved thousands of lives, space race. That's where it comes from. Every time humanity decides to do something not because it is easy but because it is hard it takes a giant leap forward even if you disagree with the ideas behind climate change if you just refuse to see what's happening understand that the journey to combat it to reduce carbon all of this stuff the technologies that are going to come from it are going to propel mankind forward. It's going to make humanity better. It's a challenge. Every great challenge produces byproducts like that. If you don't want to do it to save the planet, do it in your own self-interest. Understand, without Sputnik, there's no cell phones. Not really. Not the way we have them today. There's no satellite TV. There's no camera in your phone microprocessors, all of this stuff was spurred along because of the space race. The battle against climate change will do the same thing. Byproducts are likely to include cheaper energy, cleaner energy, maybe self-sufficient energy where you wouldn't even have a bill. That's just one. Cleaner water, which means a healthier populace. The fight is one that needs to be undertaken. Even if you don't agree, if you think it's caused by something else, if you think it's just all hogwash, it doesn't matter. The journey, the attempt, will create things that will make our lives better. There is no downside to attempting to mitigate climate change. There's not. Well, we're going to spend a bunch of money. Yeah, yeah, we are. But the reality is that climate change is already costing us billions, probably trillions. So it'll probably save money in the long run. But let's say you don't believe it. It's an investment. It's an investment, it's venture capital that's put out there to move humanity forward. I don't see the problem in it. This is one of those things where if we do it, there's no real downside. And if we don't, there will be. There will be. Even if you don't believe it, there will be. There was a set of articles published in, I think, The Guardian excerpts from a book 
showing best case and worst case. I'll put them down below. This is this generation's, this time period's. This is its space race. This is its World War II. This is its great challenge. The thing it has to overcome to keep the species moving. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.